me cause I don't need no cellmates I'm in the two seat doing drops like a mailman This ain't no hoopty ass she riding she's a hell yeah No I won't lose sleep about no pussy I'm like farewell Farewell uh, yeah. I'm outside. I'm outside. I know how it feel to see your homie switch sides. I know how to put that Royce Royce shit in drive. I know how to load a clip and shoot. We gotta ride. You ain't gotta lie to me, baby. No, you know it's a vibe every time we on. Catch him off sides, he won't make it. No, no. Money on my mind, I can't get it all. I've been. All right. We're outside. No, we're inside. No, we're inside. Studios. We're inside. I've been outside all summer. <laughs> <laughs> Literally all summer. All summer. It's been real humid out here in New Jersey. I told Ken actually the other day. I want to see my beautiful face on the screen. It's oh wow! Take some time. Wow! Oh, wow! Look at you. Look at us. <laughs> I, no, yeah, we were actually talking about how outside it's been summer. Very. It's like, been summer very long. Like we had so many hot days mm -hmm. that I felt like it's been summer since April. Like, literally, like, I, I said, I don't know if I want to actually move to Florida, bro. <laughs> I do. Summer. No. Ah. I do. <laughs> you There's do. One reason why. What? Because of the nonstop heat? No. Oh, taxes. 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 <laughs> ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, well, that's yeah. a story. That's yeah. I actually don't oh, yeah. like the heat. We, had, we, we went there recently to um, see a property. Yeah. Um, a few and A few properties. And... I made a decision like I I got to move the operation portion of, of it to Florida mm. cuz I'm getting murdered in taxes. Not Florida, not federal tax, but state taxes. State, yeah. I'm I, I I lost I lost the mansion oh, to Jersey. Yeah. I lost a 1.7 million dollar mansion oh, in Jersey God. in taxes. In taxes. So it's like it's like when you really think about it you like Fuck, that's 1.7 for free that I could get. Mm -hmm. Every year. Every year. Every year. I, I, if not more. Yeah. So I can buy, I can pay for a new mansion every single year <laughs> if I just move, move. to Florida. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. <laughs> but he, Spend he, six months in one day. So I'm, I was thinking about like a plan. I'm like, do I stay there? You know, I, I'm with my kids every weekend. So I'm, I might have to miss one weekend so I can spend two weeks Mm -hmm. In Florida, mm -hmm. then come out here for three, mm -hmm. so I can okay. get that six month in one day, right? In right. order to get the residency status. But, but before we go into uh, you buying a mansion every year, uh, let's introduce our guest for today. Yeah, no, no you know how it goes. You know how it goes, man. So, Absolutely. So, so today we got. I don't know his last name. You know, Darwin, I, I, I didn't, huh? Dar Roman. Dar Darwin, the only one, the only one that has the name that that's catchiest in the game yeah. right now. Yeah. <laughs> the life insurance yeah. mercenary, Darwin Roman. Thank you for stopping Darwin by. Roman. I appreciate, I appreciate being here. I mean, I'm excited to be here. I know it's been a long time coming. I've yeah, you know, man. I've been determined to be able to eventually get one day on the podcast here. And yeah, it's bro. Be here. Yeah. yeah, man. Yeah. And. I'm I'm actually happy that to to have you here. Like you know, I was telling Al, you know, because I know he had a son that happened last week, whatever. And um, oh, <laughs> and I'm like, yo, you know, I got I got one of the city councilmen coming. Like let's let's you know, let's so, get there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and, and we're we're not um, guest heavy pod. You know, we have yeah. so much content in regards to what we do mm -hmm. that we really don't have, like, cool people come around. And, yeah, and it's yeah, a pleasure yeah, yeah. To, to have you. I know he... I'm tired of seeing his fucking face. Yeah, it's good. We, we argue. We, Yo, we, we argue, argue every day. He's uh, in my house. I flip on him. He flips on me. We argue every day. Yeah. I, I, ch I choked him, like, two weeks ago. Yo, he uh, really choked me, though. So, you... <laughs> Yo, but, you, you know, he's been so fed up with me yeah, yeah, that yeah. we're driving down to Florida, and I'm, I'm a pain in the ass, right? I'm, like, one of those annoying motherfuckers that keep on, keep on. <laughs> And I kept on, Darwin, and he goes, yo, just shut the fuck up. And he grabbed my hoodie, right? And I'm thinking he's going to, like, play around, pull a little bit. So I'm like, uh, uh, that shit got tight. I was like, <laughs> yeah, wait a minute. No, I look back. I was like, yo, you really wanted to choke me? You all right? You know what it is is that, you know, if you ever taken a road trip that's, like, you know, 20 <laughs> hours. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Honestly, we should record a pod on our way down to Florida because <laughs> road trip. Your your brain. We have so much conversations, and that's how we end up with True Pod because we we yeah. go into these conversations randomly. Mm -hmm. That it's like, damn, we could, we should just record this, right? And it happens so often. So when you're on a road trip, twenty hours in, you you surpass mm -hmm. a level of. 
conversation. Now you start <laughs> talking. You start talking some wild <laughs> shit. Start, so, <laughs> what would you do for ten mil? <laughs> so we're one of those, and it's like, yeah, Al, 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 this is one freaky motherfucker <laughs> for a yeah, million yeah, dollars. No, no. Nah, so we were talking about <laughs> our no. eighteen. I, I'm trying to, you know, I think I was trying to nap or something. He was just going on and on and on, and I just choked him. <laughs> but, uh, Talk about choking, life insurance. <laughs> so, yeah, right. so I know that oh. that's that's <laughs> you know that's something that you yeah. do. But he also mentioned uh, something about what councilman or what else is yeah. Is, so so question yeah. Let's get to no no yeah yeah. So so, so so what's your title? Mm -hmm. What you do? Yeah. You, you know, I know some of what you do, but I don't really know. I'm not FBI. I'm just no, you no, know. No. Yeah, yeah. You know. We're not the IRS either. So no, fine. we're not <laughs> sort of. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, you know, let me start again from the beginning. You no, know, it's going into the idea or the concept of life insurance mercenary. So I started in the industry, financial services, uh, now going on 12 years ago. So I'm in in practice working with individuals, small business owners, um, putting together life insurance plans, retirement plans, and things beyond that because I do work with a full, full service financial planning firm. So okay. Okay. Uh, we're able to provide solutions for on the very basic to the very, very advanced level. Um, I got into this industry actually as an accident. At the time I was married and this woman that I was with, she got sick, she got breast cancer. And oh. so it opened oh, wow. my eyes as to what, you know, what would happen if had she not made it, what she got sick. And then it kind of introduced me to this industry. Now, I, it was because I pre previous to that I was in the fitness industry. I'll never forget at one of my times when I was working at one location for Crunch, by the way, downtown Wall Street. A bunch of Wall Street guys will always come in. I will sell them memberships. So they were always trying to, in the usual fashion, try to recruit me to come work at their office, right? Got it. But I was young and I was like, nah, it's not going to be for me. But that idea always stuck. I said, you know what? I'd like to work in that kind of market, but how do I get started? And then it happened to be that I started getting my licenses in life and, life and health. And then I started working with some of the big companies like uh, Mass Mutual and then went beyond yeah, and yeah. from there. Um, but then, and it, over time, my practice developed and working for a particular company where I became more independent. So in my industry, you can either work for a specific company. So you may meet people like me, mm -hmm. but they have a business card that says Mass Mutual or New York Life or, mm -hmm. or Guardian. They, they represent a particular carrier. I started off that way, but I went more independent. And then I, I tied it into how I approached my practice. So going back to the mercenary. So the mercenary ties into my history. I served in the Marine Corps from 98 to 2002. Figured. Ooh, right. I right? figured. I've seen a gun on the photo. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> so this marketing well, this marketing person said, listen, we got to figure out how this brand. Can you like, shoot, though? Can you really shoot good? It's been a long time, but yeah, I can still yeah. shoot. Yeah, yeah. If you give yeah. me an M16, I should be able to sue off some rounds. On yeah. Yeah, yeah. Champ. <laughs> yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I, I shoot a lot, actually. Now. I've been to a range in a minute. I want to go back. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm there, what, like three times a month? And, uh, outdoor or indoor? No, indoor, indoor. indoor. Okay. Okay. I, I got licensed. And now I'm working on my carry. I'm nice. like yeah, yeah, yeah. two classes away from carrying. There you go. Go yeah. for it, man. I need yeah. security. So because the next time he <laughs> no no the next time next he chokes time me, choke, yes, yes, yeah, so he's right. fucking done. And Florida is easy, by the way, for carry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah I carried yeah. in Florida for many years. <laughs> but oh, uh, so, so no, he can't. He, the, the 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 mercenary. Yes, yeah, so the mercenary yeah, ties into the, my military history, right? But a mercenary, by definition, is as a is a professional soldier for hire, right? So when you think about this in a movie or in real life, you're never gonna. Yo, you patted him down before he got hit. <laughs> yeah, I, gave, I gave him the visual nah, pass nah, down. Nah, no you, bulky stuff. You sure? <laughs> you sure? <Yeah>. All right. Because <laughs> you figure uh, you're never going to see a mercenary with the flag on their shoulder of any government, right? They have no loyalty to any government. Their only loyalty is to the client that hired them for that mission, mm. right? So the same way I approach my clients is, listen, when you hire me, then I'm my, my objective, my priority Deliver. is your mission. If anything, is your... Yep. Financial security becomes my mission. Gotcha. So I don't have a particular loyalty to any company out there. I have access to, to about a dozen or so companies. So if I find the right solution that fits for their goal, that's where we're going to go. That's gotcha. It. And awesome. this is insurance or whatever service you provide. Sure, yeah. So, whether so, it be in the investment so let me ask you about insurance. So a lot of people don't, and I could be wrong. Just just help me out. Yeah, sure. Every time a broker uh -huh. for insurance uh -huh. or a person who sells something of insurance mm -hmm. Do they get paid on the renewal of the policy? Right. So they get paid two ways. There is an upfront commission. Yeah, yeah. That the carrier will pay the, the agent or advisor, right? That, that's pretty standard. But then, yeah, after the, the policy maturity date, typically on a monthly basis, that person, that ad advisor or agent will receive a monthly renewal commission every month. 
Wow, and not one time? No, every month. As long as, for example, if I'm a client and I'm paying, well, I pay my premiums every Monthly. month. Monthly. Then every month, the advi- the agent that's servicing my account will get a very small, but still it a doesn't matter. Number, it adds up when it adds you up fucking ten thousand policies in. Well, then it would start adding up, right? Yeah. And then if anything, it just adds the longevity of your practice because the more clients you 100%. have, yep. right, yep. then you're yep. more planning you could do as they grow older. I mean, right now I'm working with somebody that's twenty eight years old is about to get is about to matter of fact. I'm not giving this away either. He's <laughs> about to pop the question, right? Yeah. But that means his family's going to grow. Eventually, he'll be married. Eventually, he's going to have kids. And if, it's I like stay, taxes. if I stay with them, right, I'll be able to do some planning for them going on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and, and the retention of them coming back mm-hmm. is pretty strong, right? It can be as long as your relationship is strong. Your service is strong, right? Gotcha. Because gotcha, they can gotcha. forget about you, but if they forget about me, then it's my fault. What is one insurance that is not... It's not the most retention bull if that was a word. You know what? I will say this. Um, in terms of market, what tends to be typically is called a final expense policy. Final expense policy is typically small policies, five or ten or fifteen thousand dollars in benefit, meant to pay off funeral expenses. For some reason, they don't tend to stick on the books that long. Whether the person passes away or maybe because the person just forgets to pay the bill. I'm learning. See, I got I got Al's face right now. So when I'm talking my shit, it's a lot of new shit for Al. So Al be like this. <laughs> <laughs> right, but right now I'm I'm you know I'm learning all yeah, this. You know what I'm right now, yeah, so, I love this. So it, it is Life Insurance Awareness Month too. By the it way, it is September's Life Insurance Awareness Month. Matter of fact, Rosalind Sanchez is this year's spokesperson. Ah, okay. yeah. That's so 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 that. what does that mean? The Life Insurance Awareness Month. It's just providing like, eyes on and, and just awareness. No, does something happen speci- specifically in September month? that changed all the notions of insurance? No, a lot no? of people was high death. Yeah. yeah, like Wait, Halloween. I was born in September. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, so you, you didn't. I just got it, yo. I th- <laughs> I thought you said high def te- no. television. You yeah, said yeah, high, high death. death. Yeah. This dude's stupid, yeah, so, bro. Oh, oh. <laughs> so question. I see I HD in my head. By the way, I'm like, as oh far wow, as retention, yeah, sharp. I'm like, like, and as far as the relationship, once I obtain my life insurance, right? What other conversations do i have with my my broker until yeah, i die yeah. yeah i touch base with my clients once a year and just for a review just to, so if anything it's not so much of a review it's a reminder mm-hmm. i meet with somebody and go because they forget They're like why did i get this again <laughs> why am I paying this bill again? <laughs> and i said i go back well remember the conversation we had this is the reason why you got it this is going to do for you or it's going to do for your family let me this ask you a you question have. right i just thought about this what is one of the most deepest conversations and in insurance you had that made you mm. become maybe a little cautious, not cautious about the person, but worrisome about the person? Mm. I'd so, say, I'll, I'll say I'll have this. When they, they have a certain level, a certain type of cash flow that they, they don't want to be completely transparent about, but they want to put money into a life insurance contract. Mm-hmm. Right? Okay. Somehow the money's coming in, but doesn't want to tell me exactly how. But don't worry, I can pay this premium. So okay. why, why are you being so cryptic about it? It's like, yeah, all right, right just tell me where right. the cash flow's coming. I, and uh, the conversations get a little awkward. In the insurance yeah. industry, right? Because I walk away from clients like that. I said, listen, if you're trying to money launder, I, I can't help you. Okay, it's it actually I want to touch base on that now, yeah. right? So in the insurance industry, are you trained or told to listen for specific turndowns immediately? Mm-hmm. Like, that's it. We're not giving to you. There's no way they could persuade you again after that to get it. Yes or no? Right. Yeah. So we have to go through anti-money laundering certification every two years. Okay. Because uh, money laundering is, is a huge... Yeah, especially out of 2001 with the Patriot Act. And it goes by job title most of the time? Like, what they mm-hmm. do for a living or no? No. No. It's just a matter of, of just them having certain red flags where they want to put a giant amount of cash into a life insurance So if policy. I come to you right now, hey, Don, what's up? I got your number from, you know, Escobar. <laughs> right yeah um and you know i'm looking for a 10 million dollar insurance policy yeah um and i'm an advisor yeah you know uh I, i'm a i'm just an advisor for yeah. mechanics right is there any red flags by me saying that to you not red flags unless you can somehow show on paper and once you get past a certain amount of death benefit these carriers also have their own financial underwriting and they say listen we'll give you a 10 million dollar policy the question is what's going to justify us insuring you for 10 million dollars what kind of assets do you have? Uh, you have yeah at that point after five million by the way a lot of carriers will actually ask for the insured or the person's applying for insurance for tax returns oh 
And that's where we come in. That's where we come in. All right. Ah. Because if you're if you're making fifty grand a year but you want a ten million dollar policy, they're like, no, it's not it doesn't add up. Yeah, you're not yeah, worth ten million. Yeah, 10 yeah. Years. For that no, 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 because <laughs> <laughs> we got all these yeah. weird sound bites. Uh, <laughs> that's a good one right yeah, there. Good one. No, I mean you think about it, somebody fifty grand, right? And I get my my children ten mil. Oh, no. I, right and there. I'm already done with life. Pa! Yep. yep. There you go. Yep. Family set. Yep. Now, now goes into the question that we're, we've been talking for the last couple of weeks. Sure. Um, someone takes their life, unfortunately. Right. Um, how does that work on on a policy? So Ken had insurance on his dog. The dog committed suicide. <laughs> <laughs> no, the dog it was tired of Ken's shit. Ate a bunch of chocolate. Yeah. Yeah. It was tired of Ken's shit. I didn't know which way to commit suicide. Literally jumped <laughs> off the table. Yeah. I've never had a dog. Just or any dog. <laughs> Yo, I'm sorry. The sun's rolling my head. I be saying some wild shit sometimes. So, so yeah. So in that case, because this is a conversation we we right. tired of your shit. Off. <laughs> Then is you dog know, off not himself often, but recently <laughs> something occurred that uh, we've talked about someone taking their life right um the segue is all right. throw you out. yeah <laughs> what happens in that case yeah yeah uh, so is, is yeah. that is there a poly- is is that <laughs> part like kind so, of- well, i mean look we'll tie it in right now to a recent event right the cfo of bed bath and beyond yeah. jumped off a 23 yeah, story yeah. building in manhattan the jenga building to be exact did yeah. you know that they were renting a three bedroom apartment for eighteen thousand five hundred dollars a month <laughs> not, yes. no more. not yeah, anymore I, yes I, i'm aware because yeah. uh, came from that month yeah i was yeah. in that in that market and uh, it's crazy I, I've, I've seen, that's actually pretty cheap. What do you think building. rent would be now? <laughs> right? Somebody's well, going to rent that, though. Well, it is Somebody expensive. Does. I would never <laughs> rent that. You look up every you time, you and then you, you think about homie flying through the window? You, you can't you can't disclose that. I mean, you, you, no, you, you can't. That, um, hell yeah. You can't a, say. Every, every home that's owned on the deed, if somebody died there, it has to be, they have to get put on the deed. Not on the deed, on the um cool. the title. There you yeah, go. Title. Mm. Right? I'm I'm correct. If yeah, I think yeah, yeah. 100%. With, with a rental, I don't know how it works with a rental, so I don't know. Yeah, I, <laughs> I guess maybe you can get away with it. Um but no, but in that case, so here, so what happens is that every life insurance policy has what's called a two year contestability period. And some people would will will misinterpret that. That's when people come in out of the woodworks or in social media and say, "See, that's why life insurance companies don't pay out. It's a scam. Don't be bothered. Your your family don't get the money." No, that's not true. Mm. What happens is this: is that the company has a two year contestability period. I went through that period with one of my clients because he got cancer within eight months of get me getting him a policy. All right, mm. so I have a true story on this. Oh, wow. So. What happens is that the company will say, all right, listen, you have cancer. The policy includes what's called living benefits inside the contract, meaning that you don't have to die for us, for you to get a benefit from it. If you got cancer or heart attack or stroke, right. we'll give you access to your death benefit while you're alive to help pay for whatever it is you need. Whew. Right. Great policy to have. Anybody out there listening to it, review your policy. If you don't have it, hit me up. So. We went through this process. He got cancer eight months into the contract, right? We had to go through the, the, the claim process, but the company went through their, their contestability process. They went, basically, they backtracked his applications, going through it, making sure he didn't miss a question. As well as probably it. his medical history. We went through his medical history again, spoke to his oncology team, all that stuff. Got statements from them. And when, after all they're done, they're basically their investigation. They go, all right, this is a legitimate claim. But it took, took, took two and a half months to do that. Well, this is it. Yeah. It's a legitimate claim. No problem. Here's your money. And he got paid. That's a two year period. Now, the money happen? for the part, the, the living benefit, the part? living benefit. Part, okay. Yeah, not because, yeah. yo, you're dead. Here's benefit, your no, money. No, no. no, the living benefit Oof. part, which is a very small chunk, but it helped him out. He ended up getting paid $40,000 tax free. Okay. Definitely hate to help them out. Right. Mm-hmm. So, um, you go through that period after that period is over though. How did that happen? Like in year two and three months, they wouldn't have contested it at all. They would have just said, show us the paperwork, but then they go, all right, that's it. You're good. You know, yeah. The claim would have been a lot faster. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. But on all the pr- a piece that happens during that contestability period, right, when we're talking about somebody committing suicide, is the suicide clause. So the suicide clause also lasts for the first two years of the contract. After two years, technically, if you do commit suicide, they will pay the claim. Oh, okay. they will pay the claim. I did not know. Wait, that. wait, I, I, I. Yeah. Two years. Repeat that nice and clear again. Yep. And and this is not for everybody <laughs> listening, bro. This is not <laughs> advice if you're considering plan. this. Okay, this is because of recent events. Yeah. 
you know, right. so right. let let's let's make that nice and listen. Your life is beautiful, right? He's course, just giving you scenarios of what's happening right now in the world, yeah. And based on what he does for a living, and based on black and white contract, what it reads, right? Mm-hmm. So it reads that during the first two years of a life insurance contract, there's a suicide clause attached to that, meaning that after after the two years is up, a year three four goes by, and you happen to commit suicide, they will pay the claim. After two years of having the policy. The policy. Mm-hmm. There we go. The policy, okay. right. Not after two years of you committed suicide. No, no, no. no. After two years of you actually owning the policy. Like a probo- so, probationary I guess because they look at it like, yo, he was probably normal for two years prior to that, Correct. and then shit changed. Shit changed because yeah. you have to remember that not only your physical health is considered when, when applying for life insurance or the underwriting your process, mental. your mental health is also considered. If you're taking antidepression, anxiety medication, things like that, those go on record, and they will consider that. But is it fair? To, so I, I'm, I'm not siding with the insurance company, but my whole thing is, why should I pay you if you made that decision? Well, it it's, wasn't it's, by it, nature. No, no. And before you go down that, that don't point your finger at me during the show. Do me a favor. Do me a favor. I know what you're I'm licensed. I'm licensed. I'm li- I'm letting <laughs> you know. I'm stopping you before I, I, you. I had down. a lot. Yeah, sh- yeah, shoot that again, dude. Wait, yeah. huh? You know what's going on with him? He, he's, been, right. he's been shooting all for like last. And you know what, though? I'm fucking good. <laughs> yeah, he, he's good, but. Be, be, I'm stopping you. Just, before just you, lower your finger. Do me a favor. You, before you go down, uh, I'm, I'm talking to you like a police officer. Lower your finger <laughs> and talk to me, and we're good. When, if someone does commit the act, right, it's not by choice. It's a mental illness, right? Right. Oh, so, uh, well, you know what? Good, I, good just, job, I'm, I'm Ken. Right. To, good right. job. Good you're job. Going. You're right. You're right. Because right. it can because mental, a mental de- a mental illness can develop way after the fact. Yes. All of yeah. a sudden, you could hit a depression. Something happens, and out of nowhere, mm. you decide to take your own life. Like the CFO guy. The CFO guy apparently didn't leave a, a, a suicide note. Wow. Man. So that means to me that he he almost didn't even think about it. He just he just you know what I'm done, and he just jumped. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. How do you explain that? There could have been a mental illness leading up to that. So they say, look, this is a claim that the person didn't intend or didn't plan this out for years. Mm-hmm. Just one day to the next, like half his mental illness. Wow. Broke. Wow. Yeah. So what happened with your dog? <laughs> no, your face. Couldn't take it anymore. No, because you, from what I heard, there's a two year clause. <laughs> the, the, the pet care policy that you put on him, right? Can you put life insurance on dogs? Uh, I, life me, insurance I, on dogs? No, pet insurance is pet insurance. Pet insurance. insurance. Yeah, yeah, but not but like. You well, crazy? Life insurance. Yo, pet insurance, yeah. yo, you can't put life insurance on dogs. You know how many dogs will be right, getting off? <laughs> you know how many dogs will be getting shot yeah, out there? Hey, that question was what? Not for me. Yo, I, people I gonna be looking price. at the dog like, yo, how much your dog worth? <laughs> what you just said. <laughs> Look, no, no, guys, yeah, play, yeah. play the whole thing for Kenny. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic <laughs> things I have ever heard. Yeah, that question was not for Everyone question, in this room so, is now is dumber. dumber. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that question just came about because I love in this that office, one. everyone... Brings their dog to Yo, the bro, office. if you ah. walk in here during tax it, season. It looks like pet smart. That's cool. I like that. Yo, yo, bro, bro, there's literally about two horses in here. <laughs> high end, high end animals. High end <laughs> fucking dog Bugatti still- dogs. Not even joking. Bugatti dogs and fucking <laughs> Lamborghini horses running around this shit. There's a dog that I'm not even sure is a dog. It's like this, this. <laughs> it's it's, it's part like a, it's part rat. It has it's to be part, part, part rat. So so so, so we can't we wild. can't ensure. No, no, we can't ensure. No, so, they won't do it. That'd Girls. be wild, bro. You know what's that? You going a little broke, and then you look at your pit bull and go, "Yo, he's worth seventy five G's, yeah, exactly, bro." Yeah. No, 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 no. I'm blasting that motherfucker right now. No, no. Well, it's got to be natural right? So you got to get the dog causes. chocolate, right? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> right. Like, I don't know. The cool. dog so, ate my, so, all my Hershey's. I don't know. So girls, <laughs> girls in the office, no life insurance for your dog. Yeah, so Cassandra, um, uh, Everyone, Chelsea. Nas, Chelsea. Um, who's the other one? Oh, uh, and, uh, and, and Nas. And Nas. Nas what Nas. you mean? What fucking dog I got? <laughs> uh, you forgot about Miller and True? Yeah, well, I don't bring them here. Oh, okay. I don't bring them here. But I'll tell you what. If they were worth 100000 <laughs> Yeah, you look. Miller jumped, mm-hmm. you know. He jumped. <laughs> no, he sending, jumped. We're sending Peter after you, you know. Hey, so <laughs> hope my daughter never hears this one. Now, I love now, you. I'm just joking. As, as far as um, just your policies. Yeah. Uh, we talked about term at some point. Right. No, what's up right. with you pointing? I'm sorry, bro. What's up with you pointing? Stop the pointing shit, bro. Got, this is my guess, bro. Hey. 
<laughs> and remember, yo, he used to, he's, he's just mercenary, bro. Yeah, he like he's it. looking at, he's looking at your finger in three different ways to break that shit. All right, chill out, bro. Just, just, just talk, cause you get me nervous with that finger, bro. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 we gonna, <laughs> well, we gonna go over the uh, what is it, the twelve year <sighs> life uh, retirement plans or? Oh well, actually, regarding uh, insurance, right. well, not insurance, but um. Uh, freaking uh, retirement income, right? Right, retirement. So, retirement. you know, Let's you you retirement. deal you deal with a lot of uh, sure. IRAs and uh, sure. one sec- yeah, yeah, ten ninety nine withdrawals for the home purchasing exemptions. We can start there. Yes, and I just got amazing news. Great, RR closer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Uh, Congratulations! Yeah, All right. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. One, one, one of our clients is closing and well deserved. Okay. Um, but regarding like retirement, you deal with a lot of five hundred fours and you know, like you know, uh, retirement IRAs. Yeah, right? IRAs. Yeah. All right. There yeah. you go. So one key thing with IRAs is that people don't know that money that you put away in retirement. You know, you can actually. Because he's uh you you're you're heavy into real estate too right like your network sure my network big time in real estate yeah. right so you know some advice for your clients right who's sure, listening yeah. right yeah yeah people don't know that if you want to go buy a home you don't have the liquidity in your bank you can pull right from your retirement because it's an exclusion clause there's only certain reasons why you can pull your retirement if you're not retired. And if you're actively still working for that company. Tax-free. Tax-free. Mm-hmm. Tax-free. Mm-hmm. Mm. But but it depends on the organization. Let me give you an example. Okay. The city of New York. Okay. You can pull tax-free out of your retirement, buy the home. So let's say you work for the city of New York as a teacher. Okay. And you put away a hundred grand into your IRA. Okay. With the with the city. Right, with the city. Okay, so the city's retirement. Now, you want to buy a home because you're working four years, you're making good money. Mm-hmm. you fucking broke. Every teacher's broke. All right? But I got a lot of money in my retirement plan. I put there the you go. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You can go ahead and say, hey, retirement fund. I have 100 grand sitting there. I contributed 60. My down payment's 35. Mm-hmm. Can you please give me the 35,000 so I can purchase this home? Right. If it was a normal company or a normal withdrawal, you're going to get penalized, and that's going to be your income on top of what right, you made. Yeah. If you made hundred grand, it's now 135 yeah, We call it a tax spiral. Plus, you get 10% penalty at the time of filing because it's, it's early distribution. Mm-hmm. But depending on the organization, what they do is they make it a loan, and they take it out in little bits and pieces of your paycheck every single week. Right. And it'll be 100 bucks or $150. And get over a five-year period, mm-hmm. but now you was able to buy a home without having your own liquidity. Right. At the same time, not being taxed on the money mm-hmm. and paying it back in small increments. Yeah. Right. Because if you try to borrow thirty-five thousand, forty thousand from a bank to go get a house, your fucking payment is seven hundred a month, eight hundred a month. Okay. For that, if you work for a big organization, a hospital, mm-hmm. and you're able to take the loan out against your retirement. Do that if you're going to do it. To purchase a home because mm-hmm. you're only paying a hundred dollars, a hundred fifty dollars exactly. a paycheck. Exactly. exactly. Now, now within sorry, within um, he used that example with which is common in, in real estate and in our world. Yeah. In your world with insurance, what policy is beneficial to borrow against? Right. Or, or I'll go into that right now. Was a good segue into that because the reason being is that is that you're borrowing against your retirement account. In this case, for example, that could be a employee of New York City, and it's a yeah. four, my four hundred one k plan. Yep. Right, yep. For example, yep. Right? Yep. And let me borrow against it. The beauty of that also, and that that it's because the way I see it is a function as a retirement plan loan, mm-hmm. is that those loans also are not reported to the credit agencies. Mm. So therefore, your borrowing capacity which is career, also is in effect, it, it, it's which is not going to affect. Ve- your D- very correct. It's not going to affect your DTI. Your debt to very correct. Ratio, right? And most of the time, most of the time, if not all the time, has nothing to do about your credit, because that money is already guaranteed sitting there. Correct. And your job, you're currently working. Yeah, you so, don't have to get approved for your for a loan against yeah, your retirement plan. Yeah. They just ask for the money, they lend it, yeah. lend it to you. Yeah, and they lend it to you. Do, and they do make a couple bucks more on yeah. the lend, but very, very, very minimal. Very little. Very minimal. And so a similar thing can be done also, which has been very popular or very popularized lately in social media, is how do you leverage life insurance contracts to be able to borrow against for real estate? 
right? Uh, that's, that's been a that's, big one. That's the yeah, it's been a big one. I've gotten more people ask me about that lately in the past six months. Yeah, it's like us in the in the G wagon. There you go. Yeah. yeah. So there's two types of policies, right? <laughs> she gets me heated, bro. You can ride off your G wagon. It's six thousand. It's not six thousand pounds. Number one, it's fifty seven hundred pounds. Am I right, Al? We yeah. searched this. You gotta add the kids. And, and remember, it's dry weight. I can dry make weight. anything six thousand pounds. Okay. My balls are two hundred pounds. <laughs> you understand? So if I, if I could, if I go into the G wagon and I'm two hundred eight right. and the, and the shit is fifty seven hundred, I only need fifty pounds more. Guess what? I put one of the horses that are in here. Right. We 6,000 pounds. Now I can ride it off? No. No. I no. Mean, dry That's weight, work. unloaded. Dry weight, weight. unloaded. So, so in, your and world, in, in your world now, you got the, the, uh, the insurance. Against, yeah, borrow against the insurance yeah. to purchase property. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And how does that go? So how, so to go back to it, so there's term insurance we talked about, by the way. What term, is term insurance? Yo, bro. Hey, guys. I don't know everything in the world. There's certain things I know I don't know. I don't know really shit about insurance, but my car insurance. That's it. <laughs> All right? So let's start with term. Term insurance is for is specifically for protection. So what happens is you pay your premium, right, based on your age, gender, and health. That's, by the way, that's universal. Life insurance carriers use those three main factors to figure out how much premium you're going to pay for, let's say, a million-dollar policy. Mm -hmm. Age, gender, and health. Those are the main, main things. Right? So you got to... Who's more gender. expensive? Female, women, males. Women, males. Males. Males uh -huh. pay more They than do females. dumb shit. Oh, oh, yes. <laughs> males pay more There's not females. too many girls going 140 on I-80. No, they're not. All right? <laughs> At 2 in the morning. You're probably right. Yeah. 100%. Yep. 100%. Exactly. So then you got so then the term policy is designed to be able to be let's say let's say you uh, you have a thirty year old male that apply for a million dollar policy and they pay fifty bucks a month for their policy mm -hmm. if they take a say a ten year term or a twenty year term or a thirty year term that premium dollar will be fixed during that time during that term what's it uh, uh, the the term is a fixed term that they have to be in there for a minimum to get paid out or no. No minimum at all. So what's the year? What, what's the term about that? So the term is that what the comp the carrier guarantees is that during that term of time, the premium is contractually guaranteed to stay the same. Fixed. Got fixed. it. Will never go up on you. Also, the death benefit is contractually obligated to stay fixed. Are there well. requirements to be? Do they check on you? And say you got to go to fucking hospital and get another physical. Some sixty percent of the carriers out there will be able to underwrite you. What's called underwriting without requiring a medical exam. I've gotten people approved without having a drop of blood or urine mm -hmm. for up to a million bucks, up to two million at some points. So let's say you get approved and that 30 year old male, 50 bucks a month, a million dollar policy for 20 year term, right? That means for the next 20 years, a 50 bucks a month stays the same, the million dollars stays the same. After the year, the 20 years is up, it's like renting an apartment. I the need insurance. <laughs> the lease is up. Have, the lease right? is up. So, Darn. so the rent went up too? Me. <laughs> so for example, right? So that's why I always use it in the, in the, uh, in a real estate metaphor is that having term is like renting an apartment, right? Mm -hmm. The idea is that when you rent an apartment, you sign a lease. The, hopefully the lease says, hey, your apartment will be this much per month, every month for the for next this 20 month time. Once the lease is up, what do you got to do? We got to renew the lease. Now, when you renew the lease, typically it's what happens to the apartment? It's going up. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, so same thing on term insurance. So what happens a 30-year-old male, by the time the 20-year term is up, is 50 years old. They want to do another 20-year term. It's going to go, ah, he's 50. He's 50. So that's yeah. why term. In your so case, you're 50, right? They cancel your, <laughs> they cancel your insurance policy because they found out your, your testosterone was off the chart, right? He was like 30. He was horny as yeah, hell, and they canceled him. Like 30 year old yeah? testosterone is 50. Yo, they canceled <laughs> the shit out of him fast. So, so, so sperm you count was like 8,000. It's like, you got now, brother. What's the alternative? Get out of here. Uh, from term that would last to the point of. What's the know, most popular part, um, insurance, term or whole? A lot of people start with term. Okay. Because you know why? Again, it's small dollars for a very large benefit. And if somebody's starting <laughs> out, it's a great way to have can a you policy. Do, so, can you do both? Yes, term you can. and whole? You can. So I can do term for what, 10 years. And what's then... whole now? I know you broke down term. Yep. Right. Now, what's whole? So let's go uh, from term to permanent insurance. That's like a whole category of insurance. Okay. Uh, permanent insurance is two different flavors, I call them. Whole life and universal life. Those are the two, okay. right? But why is it permanent insurance? Because over a period of time, like 20 years or 30 years or 40 years, eventually the insurance is permanent. You own the contract. Similar. Can to I just buy the contract or, or I need time to make it whole? You need time to make it time, yeah. yeah. What's, uh, what's time? What's that? What's time? Usually, usually, depending on your age, right? People in our room right here, you figure about 20 years putting money into a policy, eventually you'll be paid off. 
they be paid off. Gotcha. So it's well, like I, buying a house then. Like exactly, I was just get there. Right, there you, you go. Get it. There so you when go. people ask me what's the difference, well. Buying uh, a permanent he's fuck, I'm sorry contract. to cut you off. Yeah, this yeah, fucking yeah. guy is smooth today. He got a haircut and he's fucking looking at me. I don't know what's going on. Yo, he's on a whole other level today. Yo. You know what I was going to say? Yeah, he says, stop pointing at me. And then he proceeds to go, like, watch your boom, fingers. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> yo, he got a fucking shape up and I'm looking and he's like, you know what it is? Uh, I think Kenny sees a lot of good information being said. <laughs> yeah, either that or he's looking at me like I'm putting insurance on him because I'm going get... Yo, brother, I've never seen you look at me like this during a podcast yeah. in my life. Either no, shit is switching no, or my no, no, man no, no, Darwin's no. information is too good and you're yeah, trying I'm to kill just, me. I'm, just 20 minutes, I'm getting fucking minutes. nervous. I'm letting you know that right did, now. Did, did I, no, your it's... fucking finger. Oh, move man. your finger, man. <laughs> <laughs> shit. <laughs> Right, cool. Yo, Darwin, so, your informa- I'm telling you right now, your information has been fucking dope. Oh, thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. But I've never seen my man ever switch up on me because of information. <laughs> they always, yo, they always say it took money, right? Uh, it takes money for somebody to switch. It take data. Mm-hmm. Nah. I, okay, oh, so all it took so, was insurance. So, so this is what it is. Oh, uh, we have businesses together. Can I put a policy <laughs> on my business partner? Yo, you know what? Thank you for saying that. Wow. One of my investors. No, that, that's why it's coming from. But yo, I mean, your, like, <laughs> your man has threatened me. I swear, I swear to everything I love. I, because of his title, because of who he is, I can't, you know, spill spill who he is, right? <laughs> <laughs> Legally, but <laughs> but your man, <laughs> every time a next like achievement comes in the company, yeah, he goes, "Yo, my man, like, we need insurance on you." Mm-hmm. Like, and, and and it makes me. I understand, but it's like, all right, all right, cool. Like, I think you made enough money back, bro, but we can't work off of, like, I hope you live thing. <laughs> no, no, no. Nah, no, son. No, it's, it's the Lamborghini in your garage. <laughs> in the Ducatis. Shit, bro. Right? He so, want, It's like he wants to off me, you no, know? No, no, no. But can, can as, as part of a, a business structure... Absolutely. So a very common thing whenever uh, people have a business partnership is something called a buy-sell agreement Okay. in between partners or partner or multiple partners. And a buy-sell agreement is typically is usually drafted up by an, by an attorney and states certain things that would happen in the event of situations like a death, like a disability. Some agreements I've seen included a divorce, wow. right? So what, the, what happens is that, okay, if, if this happens, how do we then sell or buy out the Mm -hmm. remaining shares of our either deceased or disabled partner because at that point legally the typically the spouse can inherit the business interests of the deceased and so therefore it's like all right listen we got a partnership i doubt you want to be in business with my wife because we have a construction partnership we have a construction business and my wife is a hairstylist she has no business in in this but it's common in uh real estate uh right now top of my head yeah the uh the terminology as far as um the, the partnership structure Mm -hmm. where it it varies yeah right exactly but in life insurance um i can take a policy out on mr hernandez here right in case um he does something stupid like (laughs) but he has to can he unknowingly no, take out the policy. No, you no, both no. have to know about yeah, it. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. then he's gonna off me. Yeah, you both not, have to know about it. Yeah, and actually, both. Yo, of yo, you- ow, ow, ow! You've been in this room too many times. <laughs> you know what it is? Has he ever asked these weird ass <laughs> questions about me, bro? It's, it's insurance. I thought it was just uh, information in the beginning, but uh, <laughs> now you're it's getting trying. deep. It's yo, 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 ow! You already, I already now. told you, bro. It's strong now. <laughs> All right. You know what it is too is that we never um sit, oh, what? What? We never sit face to face like So you. what? You get to see me and I look I, 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 I look I, more more you know more beneficial now? <laughs> you look greener. <laughs> you have that glow, the aura. Yo, yo, me. he's giving me he's giving me that relationship glow, you know, when you're good. You, you, you know when a woman is good after meeting a guy and she she really she's like, Oh shit, like I'll be alright if I have his baby. <laughs> He's looking at me like I'll be alright if I put insurance on this motherfucker. <laughs> Shit. See, that's nah, why. That's you see. I'll be bored. I'll be bored. Like, what don't be that? bored and look at me like that, <laughs> though. You out of your mind? All right. So, as far as back to uh, insurance, because mm-hmm. everything he keeps saying is like, no, no, no. It's it's wild information it's that that great. I honestly didn't. I for these podcasts we usually don't prepare because we have so much information in our head. Sure. We just write down three topics and we're able to tee off in so many directions right. because we have so many years of knowledge. And I came into today and I did not expect to learn mm. 
what I needed to know. Got it. <clears throat> where I refrain from knowing. Right. And you're going to get my, my Amex card later. Right? <laughs> so I think with insurance. He came over here with a purpose. Right? I'm getting that motherfucking insurance. <laughs> I'll tell you that. With insurances, with life insurances, is like same way people want to ignore taxes, uh -huh. especially uh, business. Uh, I see it's common with um, newcomers in, in, in self-employment. They try to ignore taxes. Right? I think life insurance is the same thing. It's one of those things that I decide out of mind and, and no one really wants to take the time to mm -hmm. even look into it. Um, but, but but I think one is inevitable and the other one is avoidable it's, but it's can also, be costly. So taxes, it's inevitable. It's going to catch you. So is death. No, but, no, no, yeah, but death. Yeah. It's the same thing. Right? That's why that's why yeah, we're in the same room. We think about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Death and, and taxes. No, no, but but, but say, one the one you can do. Taxes. No, one you can do and the other one you should do. Yeah. You should do. Yeah. yeah. It's not like you have to do it, but, but, but you I should do it. It's the mindset of it, it, taxes is kind of in your face. Sure. It's tax season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, your job, yeah, you yeah, pay taxes. Yeah. Uh, there's the whole refund mindset. So it, it's it's there. It's like commercialized. Right. Life insurance is kind of like, it's life insurance. Yep. And then you don't want, you, you one you think is an extra expense. Mm -hmm. But even on, on a term, you're looking at what, like 50 bucks? Yeah, depending on your age. Uh, depending and, on yeah, your age. Yeah. And obviously, so like if I wanted a million dollars right now for the group listening, because I'm asking the same question, I'm asking the same question that's going to be uh, be for the, the beginner person with not that much money. Right. Okay. So I'm coming in with not that much money. Mm -hmm. Right. Sure. I'm, I'm Joe Schmo. Hey, Darwin, I got a family. Mm -hmm. Got kids. Yep. I know more about life insurance now. What is the cheapest I can start with? Yeah, let's start with a term policy. Because right now I say you have no life insurance. That means right now at this point your family is at a big risk exposure because you're not covered if something happens to you. Okay. So how much we, would they get? So then we we look at the amount of death benefit, for a quarter million or half a million or a million. Where does it start then? Is there fifty thousand dollar policy? There, or no? Some companies will go as low as fifty. A lot of them start at hundred for term. Gotcha. And then go from there up. What what would be the cost? Say thirty years old. So somebody like me, thirty nine, mm -hmm. right? Does sexy play anything in no. that? No. <laughs> We're gonna no. send a picture along with your yeah. application. Yeah. Like, yeah. But, look, yeah. but look at the guy. Yeah. Look at the guy. So <laughs> once again, once again how, how imagine much? that, right? Damn, he's good looking. Really? No, you know no, what? He's only fifteen dollars a month. <laughs> no, Darwin, so how, how much would he get? How much would I? I mean, how much would he, <laughs> how much family, would he I get uh, his family uh, for John with fifty bucks a month. <laughs> so, Thirty-nine year old, fifty bucks a month. I mean, I, that's more around like the the five hundred thousand dollar range. Right, of that's benefit. not bad. I thought he was yeah, like depending, <laughs> on, depending on the health. I mean, depending on the term, could be a right. little bit less, more around four hundred. You know, but uh, the good thing about That's life not insurance, bad, though. fifty bucks, four hundred for two fifty. I'm thirty nine, perfectly healthy. Definitely should be about fifty bucks minimum uh, at most. What uh, you're talking about. So, That's so for two fifty a month, right? Yeah. Let's say two fifty a oh, month. For two fifty a month, you're gonna get a lot more benefit. You're gonna be a lot more benefit. Like what? Two mil? Maybe close to that. Because it's what the, the, the interesting part is, I thought that, you were gonna get like a gift card from Bed Bath and Beyond. Because <laughs> <laughs> it'd be wild, right? <laughs> Imagine <laughs> what. Oh. Uh, no, no. I thought like oof. for fifty bucks, I didn't expect four hundred thousand, three hundred thousand. Oh, it's, it's possible. Yeah, it's possible. Yeah, I thought it was just like yeah. it's something possible, yeah. minor ice cream. <laughs> yeah, no, like, it's a term like, policy. I mean, there's there's ten years or fifteen years, twenty year terms. Um, but uh, but again, the but the the good part about it is you can apply for up to a million, one point five million. Send the application to the company and just see what they say. Question: No yeah. money out of your pocket. Say, nothing. Yeah, no risk. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, there's no. You can just apply. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so, yeah. so say less than you know, because right now it's, it's unfortunately is like some people can't even afford to die, right? Sure. Because oh shit, never heard of that one. Yeah. Because of um, funeral, costs. funeral costs, right? People don't are not aware. Of not aware. Of I will it. leave you in the room you know for a while. Death, death, a lot of people yeah, ignore look. death. You know, it's like, it's like something you don't want to talk about. It's almost like, ooh, yeah. don't talk about it. But, but but that's why this conversation is so dope because yeah. you're looking at Darwin's a cool dude, but I really don't like him after this show. I'm like, <laughs> no, damn, no, this I, thing I is this thing is more. all about the Grim Reaper. Yeah. <laughs> My man mercenary over here. So, I get it. For for what's the uh, like a uh, the premium on, on something like that? Just 
funeral costs. I know there is a policy that just takes care of funeral costs. Oh, yeah. Costs. So typically, so I was talking about that final expense policy that just covers funeral costs. Mm -hmm. okay. typically, Damn, why they pre name it like that, final though? Expense. Final, final expense? expense. Yeah, final expense. <laughs> You're the last fucking bill <laughs> I'm ever spending on in my life. All right? I'm going to tell you, I'm not paying your car. I'm not paying your mortgage because the last final expense I got on you is your, your fucking death. <laughs> Damn. That's insane. Damn. Whoever created the term, that name of that policy was pissed at his wife. <laughs> final final expense. So, so there's a final expense policy. Is that a, a standalone <laughs> policy or is that bunched in with with term? Or, so you know or, what? When a person is when a person is young, the term life insurance covers it all. That's okay. that says right. But when a person is beyond, well, you like consider six, young. Just when I was saying beyond, how about this? Sixty five and beyond, right? Sixty five oh. years old and beyond retirees, yeah. Yeah. they'll typically gravitate to a small policy final expense because then maybe they don't have enough or they already ran out of the term policy where they need something. So then. Another oh. question. When the term policy expires, say I, I, I have 20 years, so I uh, say 60, mm -hmm. term expired, mm -hmm. I no longer get access to that money? That's just gone. That's term. That's it's term, gone. puppy. Uh, puppy. Damn, I have to die Se with fue. 20, 20 years. Se fue. Yeah. You, you, you ever heard that song, Se fue? Yeah. <laughs> that's it. It's gone, Se kid. Damn. Just like I missed, the, yeah. I missed the window to die. But, that, the but is, that's the case where you that's... would probably purchase, if uh, you're more... Uh -huh. <laughs> nah, if you're more in the safe financial route, whole life insurance. Correct. You got to go. You bet permanent insurance. Permanent never, insurance. So never right. that on you. Right, and and you basically pay it off like a mortgage. Right, which has to be pretty expensive though. Well, it'll be more than term. Okay, right. average. Let's say if I hey Darren, how you doing? My name is Jonathan. I know about term and whole now. Thank yep. you by the way. Yep. But. It looks like I'm gravitating more towards whole. Right. For I give you a perfect example, a 30 year old male that I was working with recently, we're looking at putting together a, uh, a half a million dollar permanent insurance policy, and what we use is called an IRA model because it goes, I put money into my IRA up to the max every year, six thousand. I said that's five hundred bucks a month. I said, let me show you what five hundred dollars a month will do in a permanent life insurance contract, mm. right? We designed it that way, and I said, well, in terms of death benefit, it gives him, based on his health, about half a million dollars of death benefit for 500 bucks a month. That's on a, on a whole. On a, yeah, whole life. <laughs> Yo, what happens if you miss a payment? Well, well, well it's flexible. Oh, Thank God. Actually, you know what? You're right. Flex. If you miss a payment, the cash values will actually float the payment until you can come back oh, to okay, it. Cool. So yeah. when you say, oh, the, yeah, wait, cool, wait, cool, wait, cool. wait, 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 repeat that, mm -hmm. repeat that. So the cash values built up in the contract will actually, it's called a, pr a premium loan provision. You can actually take a loan against the cash value to pay your premiums until you can come back. So to you bank. have a rough patch of like six months, that 500. I have clients who do that on purpose sometimes. Well, they're, they'll dial back their premiums because I got a seasonal business. Like I got one guy, he's a, land, uh, he's a power sense. washer. Yeah. Right, winter time, nothing happens. So he's like, "Yo, dude, I'm putting in a thousand month into it, but I want to scale it back to five hundred for the winter time, and then come back to season and then go back." Because it's a taking five hundred dollars a month to cover the difference mm -hmm. based on the equity, mm -hmm. basically, like payments like made. Equity, cash, yeah. Got you, got you. So oh, it's a flex. Shit. That's a more of a flexible place called flexible uh, universal life. Right, uh, right. But that's right. the other, that's the other part where I say I look at a client and go, "What's your cash flow like? Is it seasonal? It's up and down, right? Mm -hmm. You need a more flexible contract." Are you police officer or firefighter? And it's very linear. Your income, no matter what, you know you're getting paid. And well, then a whole life policy would be okay because a whole life one is more rigid. Now, mm. now can I use, if I, if I start with a term, mm -hmm. so I do term 20 years, 10 years in, and I'm like, right, let, can I transfer? Right. Here's the thing. Conversion. Conversion. That's where yeah. <laughs> so a lot of term policies have a conversion period mm -hmm. that during the first 15 years of the policy, you can convert to a permanent insurance policy. Now, what does that mean to the dollars you paid in your term? It's not like yeah, well, it rolls that over. It's not the case. The reason that you want to convert or have that conversion privilege is because your conversion is based on your health and your health then at that point is guaranteed. So let's say right now you're 30 or 40 years, 40 years old, you're healthy. And then five years later, you develop high blood pressure, diabetes, and freaking emphysema, right? Mm -hmm. For example, but you say, I want to convert. You can convert and to a whole life policy for... and you can convert and it's guaranteed convertibility. They can't deny you to convert it. And then also whatever health rating you had back then before the blood pressure and diabetes carries, and emphysema, over? carries, carries over. over, your health is locked in. Okay. Mm. So that's really the I only had thing. a client of mine that she, she I'm sorry to call you up. She was, uh, she had the policy for three years. She developed lupus. Wow. Um, right. Which is a tough, yeah, anything, yeah, yeah. you can't get yeah, it yeah, anymore. Yeah, yeah. So she converted her policy to, to whole life. It was a two page form. Three days later, okay, here's your here's your whole life, no problem, you're good, because she had a term already in place. Got it. So it it, it preserves, it, it protects 
your it's called insurability. You don't have to show evidence of insurability. Anymore. So that's the only benefit of conversion. That's a big benefit. Wow. That's a big. That's benefit. a huge benefit. Yeah, yeah, because your health is the biggest thing. Because no matter what, you could have all the money in the world, but, but if you're not health. healthy, that's the other thing. The dollars don't buy life insurance. Health does. Mm -hmm. health. I tell my clients, wow. dollars don't buy life insurance. Health does. Health if well. you have a person who's who has a million dollars in the bank and they're and they're laid up on uh, I know terminal four stage cancer in bed with like less than twelve months to live, and they say now now. I want a life insurance policy. No life insurance company in the world no one's is going to offer them. They say, hey, you got money in the bank. Good luck. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's dope, man. Because at the end of the day, life insurance is not a right. It's a privilege. It's yeah. a privilege. Wow. Right. Wow. Wow. It's well, we're a lot of ill info. We're 45 minutes in. I don't know if you wanted to maybe uh, touch, think... touch another topic that uh, you No, no. We're hitting another topic. I want to I hit these couple calls real quick. I got to get these calls out real quick. And then we'll, we'll, hit, we'll hit the it. other but topic. Be before we, we wrap this one up, um, mm -hmm. I know you mentioned briefly uh, others, other uh, endeavors you're in besides insurance. You want to touch on that? I know. Oh, so you said about councilmen, right? Yes. <laughs> <That's enough. laughs> Po I know sometimes people think I'm in politics. I'm just around a lot of politicians, but oh. I'm not I'm actually a politician. Got it. Maybe not yet, right? Who knows? Who knows? Yeah. Some, some, <laughs> maybe someday. Uh, but I'm also, I, I do run an organization called the Latino Chamber of Commerce. Okay. That's what, yeah, there you go. Latino, awesome. So I'm the president of the Latino Chamber of Commerce. And it's, a, it's basically a, an organization that does networking events, educational, and we also do some fundraising. So okay. um, well, actually, matter of fact, we're doing an event. October nineteenth, out of Jersey City. Always doing events. I see it. Shit, yeah, that's what they do. So, it's gonna be a yo, boat, yo, like so, a boat <laughs> party, costumes, the other muertos. Who oh, funds all this? Man, so we raise the funds to be able to pay for it because gotcha. also we're doing as a fundraiser for the National Association of Hispanic Nurses. They have a scholarship fund, so we chose them to help raise funds for us. So we do we do in collaboration with them. We go out there, we network, we help another nonprofit, and then mm -hmm. we have fun doing it too. Got it. Okay. Okay. Cool. And coming soon, by the way, Florida chapter. I'm going to expand the organization, and I'm opening up a Florida chapter. And the Miami is going to be in Miami to launch November 10th. Oh, that's ah, perfect. That's, that's dope. Perfect. That's All dope. Right. Okay. We're not going to be too far away from there. We no, um, no. we're well, closing we're gonna... out a property over there. All right. Um, it, it, the place is actually in Brickle. You know, one of the sections. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm familiar yeah, with that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Worked down there for a while. Yeah, we so, went down there. He got fucked up in Brickle. Nice. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. <laughs> I, was, I, I lived down there for a while, so I'm, I'm familiar with the area. But um. Touch on your uh, what's your so your uh, absolutely yeah, yeah. Your, social your social security. Yeah, we always get this wrong right here. <laughs> Whenever we say so shoes, I go zero yeah, six. Where, where, uh, where can the people find you, Darwin? Uh, they can find me all over social media. Thanks for the question. Uh, so on Instagram, it's life underscore insurance underscore mercenary. You're right. I'm gonna have to change that eventually. <laughs> and then on social media and LinkedIn and Facebook, I'm just Darwin Roman. You'll be able to find me there. Got Typically, it. one of the few Darren Romans around. This is one of the best conversations I've had yeah, in 2022. Man. Yeah, because like, I talk with this guy every day, right? <laughs> yeah. It's full of shit. It's like an old couple. It's, like, <laughs> it's pure, pure full of shit, right? <laughs> I'm full of unnecessary information. Like, so but, I'm glad like, that, he's uh, one of the most funniest guys, though, but pure <laughs> full of shit, right? But then today I come into a podcast and um, I, I generally learned a lot of what I need done now for myself and you would think right that i have that in place i do have insurance policies in place but with you know adp not third party hardcore like this right. yeah 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 no. so you know it's it's, definitely, it, it, it was an enlightening time right yeah now. yeah, yeah. i'm I, I literally in my head while i was here i said damn i, I could put insurance on all my employees and <laughs> yeah and, you know, but this is covered. The place is covered. You know, yeah. the, yeah, this accident. Everyone's insured, but like you said, the, the importance of even yeah. additional insured. Yeah, I'll give you one more, one more nugget right here. Yeah, yeah. Right. Really? More, more, real yeah. quick. So I've I've done this strategy before too with a company out in the Bronx. Uh, he's a he's a big time lender. He's got certain key performers on his team, right? He wants to keep them on board because typically, especially in lending, you one day you'll notice that the lenders with a bank, like six months later, they're somewhere else, right? Mm -hmm. So they're trying to keep them, retain them, retain and attract talent. So what he'll do is you can't use a four hundred one k to be able to pick and choose an employee to reward because that's against ERISA laws. So you can't do that. You can't discriminate with an actual uh, traditional retirement plan. But what you can do is do what's called an executive bonus arrangement. So in a bonus arrangement, but using a cash value life insurance policy as the bonus. Nice. So you tell your you tell your, your your key person, hey, listen, I'm going to bonus you an extra five or six grand a year, but that money's going to go into this life insurance contract, mm -hmm. and I'm going to put put together a restriction on it in the sense of in the next six to seven years, if as long as you stay with me after seven years, we'll call it, or eight years, depends on the owner, 
Mm -hmm. They say, you can then leave my organization, but you'll be able to keep this policy. Oh. Right. Gotcha. However, if you leave prior to that, you then forfeit your right to keep this policy. I get to keep it so as the it owner keeps, of the company. Some, uh, okay. So they, it's so called. Add that here to that, that timeline. Yeah. So what we call it in our industry, we call it golden handcuffs. It's okay. a way to keep around a key person, but give them an incentive as to why to keep them around. Got it. Gotcha. Okay. The golden handcuffs. Well, you have it right there from the man himself, the life mercenary. The life insurance mercenary. No, nah, like he killed it. it. <laughs> he killed it. No pun intended. Appreciate you stopping yeah, yeah, by. Yeah, you can man. check him out. He did give his uh, social medias out again. If uh, do you have a website at all, uh, Darwin at all? Yeah. Under under site, but they can just stop. Uh... It's it's right. on social yeah. medias yeah. alright alright man dope. Hey. dope dope another one Amazing. here at True Pod Studios Jonathan Hernandez Darwin Roman and peace out Kenny Truthful Taxes appreciate it peace gentlemen. out guys later it's been an honor thank peace you peace out just don't provoke me cause I don't need no cellmates I'm in the two seat doing drops like a mailman this ain't no hoopty ass she riding she's a hell yeah no I won't lose sleep up by no pussy I'm like farewell farewell huh. yeah I'm outside. I'm outside. I know how it feel to see your homie switch sides. Switch side. I know how to put that Royce Royce shit in drive. Sk I know how to load a clip and shoot. We gotta ride. <laughs> you ain't gotta lie to me, baby. No, uh. you know it's a vibe every time we on. Uh, uh. Catch him off sides. He won't make it. No, no. Money on my mind. I can't get it all.